Hi, in this lecture we are going to create our base mesh. So I'm going to show you how you can use Maya's default base mesh. So we don't need to create it from scratch. Let me show you how we are going to get it. So I'm inside Maya here. I'm going to Windows. And if you go to General Editors, you'll find this Content Browser. So let's click on it. Now I have this one, so let me collapse everything. Here uh, to the left, you are going to see some folder options. So let's go to this modeling folder here, expand it by clicking on this little triangle icon. So now let's go to the sculpting base meshes. So as you can see, Maya already giving us some base meshes to start our sculpting. So now if I go to this bipeds, just click on it, we'll get uh, to see these things here. Now I'm going to use this character female.ma. I can drag and drop holding the left mouse and drag and drop to this viewport to create that. So let me close this. I don't need it anymore. Okay, now here is our base mesh. As you can see, it's a very good base mesh. We have already few, you know, some basic female proportions. Now I'm going to do one thing. Now it's a real world scale object. That means it's a real world scale. It's almost 5.5, 5 feet 5 inch tall. We are not going to sculpt uh, with this this big character. So ZBrush works with a little bit, little bit small objects. So we are going to scale it down. We are going to use one tenth of the actual real world scale. Then we can always you know, come and increase it to 10 uh, to use the real world scale. So let me show you what I'm what I mean. So if I click on this little icon here, or if you go to Windows setting preference and preference and go to this setting, you'll see this working unit is set to centimeter. That means I'm getting one grid line at each centimeter. Now if I change it to fit. Now you can see I'm getting a grid line at every feet. Now I can easily uh, calculate the height. Now it, you can see one, two, three, four, five, and half inch. So five uh, feet, five inch tall. We are creating a character here which uh, sees six feet tall, and we are going to adjust this scale here. We are going to scale it and adjust it to six feet. And then we are going to scale down it and we are going to use one tenth of the actual scale. So we can do one thing. Let's change it to centimeter again. Okay, let's cancel it. Go to prospective view here. So I'm going to scale down it first. Let's use one tenth of the actual scale. So I'm going to the scale here, drag your left mouse and let's put 0.1 so basically I'm scaling down the character to one tenth scale so now we are using just one ten percent of the actual scale okay so I'm gonna create a cube now to get the actual six feet proportion so let's create a cube go to the front view okay I'm going to change the pivot to this bottom area. So let's press D key. And now I can turn on this snap to vertex option, snap to points. Then move it to, to the bottom of the cube. And let's turn this off. Press D again to settle the pivot there. Now I'm going to scale this cube as if it's a six feet tall cube to get that six feet height. So now we are working in one tenth of the actual height. So I'm going to divide the feet to decimeter. So uh, because one decimeter equals to 10 centimeter. So I'm going to uh, calculate the feet to decimeter. If you calculate or Google uh, six feet to decimeter, you will find 18.288 decimeter. So one decimeter equals to one decimeter equals to 10 centimeter so what I'm going to do let's go to this scale y and put 
0.288 now it's obviously centimeter I'm going to move move to the grid snap to the grid so let's turn on this and snap to the grid here let's turn this off now I have a cube which is actually 18.228 centimeter we can always uh, scale it 10 times and we'll get that decimeter of 18.288 which will actually create a six feet tall cube so basically this cube is now a one tenth of the actual six six feet tall cube so I got that height here now I can easily scale the character match match with it so I'm going to do that so let's select it go to the scale tool and I'm going to scale it from the center here and I'm looking carefully here I can come here close to this view and I can hold middle mouse and again continue scaling it I don't have to see the manipulator to scale it once I have selected the center one you can see it's now yellow I can come close to it and hold middle mouse and keep scaling it until I reach here Okay. now this character is roughly six feet tall in our uh, obviously we are using one tenth of the actual six feet okay so let's move this so this uh, character is six feet tall now now I'm going to create the check the proportions I'm gonna show you my reference sheet here so I have created this beautiful reference sheet reference board we have all the anatomy images here our concept image and few images for the face sculpting so here if I come to this proportion section and if I check this image here you can see I'm using the anatomy for sculptors uh, images book images so now you can see this uh, character is 8 feet Oh, sorry eight head character proportion character so now you can see the whole height is divided with the head now it's a eight head basically realistically we get 7.5 but if you are creating a heroic character or a superhuman character or something a superman kind of character then eight head is a good choice here so eight head means the head would be a little bit smaller and the it it looks very tall and heroic here you can see we have some landmark here some uh, proper you no know, proportion uh, guidelines here you can see this is the head the first second line uh, should be somewhere close to the nipple area third line uh, some third line is at the navel and then the fourth line is this uh, crotch area and the wrist area fifth line is can see the knee and it's above the knee and it touches that finger line sixth line is the bottom of the knee and seventh is somewhere at the at this area and you can say the end of the calf muscle and then eight is at the end the complete bottom line so we need to check these things so what we can do now in order to check if our character proportionate uh, proportion is correct with the head we need to divide this whole height into eight part so I can do that by going to the mesh mesh tools and insert as loop tool so let's bring that option let's click on this option box and now let's reset it first go to the multiple edge loops option and let's put seven here so if I put seven here and click on any of this vertical edge it's gonna divide that whole edge to eight sections basically it added seven edge loop which create eight section one two three four five six seven eight and now I can close it so we have now these landmark lines basically if my character is eight head character because this character is six feet so six feet for six feet I'm taking eight head so now you can see if I move it and we can easily close 
let me bring my image here let's put it here somewhere okay let's keep it on top of everything i can do that by going to maybe mode and always on top so that i can see that i'm not going to keep it all the time here i'm going to use it on my second monitor but for this i'm gonna keep it here so that you can see okay now this is my head that's i think correct i think a little bit okay maybe maybe i could have scale a bit or now as you can see let me turn on this wireframe on set it by clicking on this icon you can do that by going to setting wireframe on set it now it seems the head is a little bit bigger than our guideline so what i'm going to do i'm going to select the model and adjust according to that line so let's select it and let's hold control and drag these things to deselect i'm going to scale down a little bit and let's move it up i can see i'm trying to get those guidelines perfect matching with everything so now that matches okay now the second line uh, is here which needs to be close to the nipple and the nipple is close let me move it so that i can you not know, check it properly so now you can see the nipple is a little bit down there i'm going to maybe move this thing move the whole body maybe so let's select this lasso tool and select everything from the neck okay maybe something like this and I'm going to move it a little bit. Again, that is my line, second line, and here is the nipple. I think now that fits. The third line should be at the navel area. Okay, that's I think fine. You don't need to do anything. And then this area, the fourth line, is above the crouch area and the rest uh, it is also at the perfect place i guess the fifth line is here where the fingertips should touch somewhere here we can see by checking this hand as well so let's select it till here and now my selection has the pivot somewhere here i'm going to press d key and move it to the here and then let's press d again press e to switch to the rotate tool and now i'm going to rotate it and check now my line is somewhere here it seems it's a little bit small hand maybe we can adjust it i think i can adjust the finger or something Okay, I can do that by in Gbra, so I'm not going to do that a little bit. Maybe let's do it. Let's move this area a bit. Okay, now I'm working at a single tile side, so I'm going to use my symmetry. Let's click on Object X, so that we don't have to work on both sides. Now you can see, I think it's gonna fit there. That's fine and uh, this fifth line i think this is the sixth line six lines should be at the knee bottom part that fits there and this is seven and eight everything looks nice now so i have adjusted my overall proportion according to the head eight head character now the first head is our head the second head line is the breast line the nipple the third line is the navel area then the fourth line is just above this crouch area and then the fifth line is somewhere here at the center of this thigh 
where the finger ends touch fingertip touch and then the sixth touches the bottom of the knee and then seventh somewhere here at the end of the calf and then the last one completes the fit so this is a proportion in the next lecture we are going to create few uh, proportion few uh, volume proportions you can see this image so we are going to create some cube which will uh, guide us to create a proper head proportionately and the uh, rib cage and this you know, pelvis you can see it's 1.2 head units wide and then 1.5 head units tall so we're going to create three cubes with these proportions